Picture this. A man strolling in broad daylight, lantern in hand, claiming to be searching for an honest man. A philosopher who turned a ceramic jar into his home. A thinker who heckled Plato, challenged Alexander the Great, and made the marketplace his classroom. No, this isn't a trailer for a Monty Python sketch. This is the story of Diogenes of Sinope, the most eccentric figure of ancient philosophy. A man who lived his philosophy quite literally out in the open. Born in the bustling city of Sinope, Diogenes was exiled for defacing currency. An early advocate of exit through the gift shop, you might say. But did he let this setback break him? No, he made his way to Athens, the heart of philosophical debate, ready to stir things up. Diogenes adopted the teachings of Antisthenes, the father of cynicism. The core idea? Virtue is the only good, and it is sufficient for happiness. And for Diogenes, this wasn't a philosophy to be merely discussed in lecture halls. He lived it, breathed it, embodied it. To him, life wasn't about accumulating wealth or acquiring status. It was about living in accordance with nature, being self-sufficient, and practicing brutal honesty. Or in today's terms, he was all about minimalism, self-reliance, and zero BS. So how did he put this into practice? Well, he chose to live in a pithos, a large ceramic jar, in the hustle and bustle of the Athens marketplace. For Diogenes, life was simple. You need shelter. A jar is enough. You need possessions, as few as possible. You need entertainment. Just observe people. They're hilarious. And let's talk about that famous encounter with Alexander the Great. Imagine, one of the most powerful men in the world stands before you, offering to grant any wish you have. Most of us would probably get lost in dreams of riches, power, or fame. But Diogenes? He asked Alexander to step out of his sunlight. Talk about standing your ground. But what can we, 21st century dwellers, learn from a man who lived in a jar about 2400 years ago? More than you'd think. First, the importance of self-reliance. In our modern world, where we're so dependent on external factors for our happiness, be it social media likes, the newest gadget, or the validation of others, Diogenes serves as a reminder that true contentment comes from within, and it doesn't require the latest iPhone. Next, the power of authenticity. Diogenes was nothing if not true to himself. He challenged norms, questioned authority, and lived according to his principles. He didn't seek approval, he sought truth. And in an era of carefully curated online personas, being genuine is a refreshing change. Finally, the freedom in simplicity. Diogenes didn't need much to live. A jar for a house, simple food to eat, and the clothes on his back. He found joy in the simple things, the natural things. In our world of overconsumption and endless wants, simplicity can be liberating. Diogenes, with his antics and philosophy, shows us a different way of life. One stripped of pretenses and unnecessary complications. He may have lived in a jar, but he was not confined. He was free. Free in a way most of us can only dream of. Free from societal expectations. Free from the rat race. Free from the chains of material possessions. So, next time you're stressing about not having the latest fashion or feeling down because your post didn't get enough likes, remember Diogenes. Remember the man who told Alexander the Great to move over. The man who made a public square his home. The man who sought honesty in a world of pretense. And maybe, just maybe, you'll see that the path to happiness, to freedom, is not in having more, but in needing less. And in being brutally, unapologetically, beautifully honest, both with ourselves and with the world. Sure, Diogenes might not have found an honest man with his lantern, but in the process, he showed us a genuinely honest, radically free way of life. One that still shines a light on our path, all these centuries later.